The Public Service uh, Superannuation Age of Retirement Bill, uh, which Minister, you will be aware, will allow public servants to work beyond their retirement age if they wish. Uh, I know the bill has passed through the Shannon and is passed second stage here of this House. However, I continue to be contacted uh, by public servants who are close to birthdays uh, and close to the reaching age of 66 and who need this bill to pass uh, so that to allow them to continue to work in into the future. So an update on this bill would be much appreciated. Thank you, Deputy Minister. So I propose to take questions number 66 and 69 together. The Public Service Superannuation Age of Retirement Bill of 2018, which provides for an increase in the compulsory retirement age to 70, for public servants recruited prior to the 1st of April of 2004, was published on Monday the 9th of July. It passed all stages in the Shannon on Tuesday the 17th of July and completed second stage in the Doyle on the 7th of November. The bill is, excuse me, completed second stage in the Doyle on the 7th of November. The bill is provisionally scheduled for committee stage in the Doyle on the 11th of December. While scheduling of time for the enactment of legislation is ultimately a matter for the Oireachtas itself, through the Business Committee, my intention is to ensure enactment as soon as possible. Once the bill is enacted and commenced, the vast majority of public servants recruited prior to 1 April 2004 will have a new compulsory retirement age of 70. For the most part, those public servants have a compulsory retirement age of 65. Under the commencement of the bill, the current compulsory retirement age continues to apply and public servants reaching the age of 65 are required to retire. To accommodate public servants who reach the age of 65 in the period between the government's decision to increase the retirement age and the commencement of the necessary legislation, I arrange for the introduction of interim measures. The interim arrangements, which much, must respect the current statutory position of the compulsory retirement age of 65 provided for a temporary solution to affected public servants by allowing them to be rehired for a period of a year until they reach the age of eligibility for the state pension, which is 66. Existing retire and rehire arrangements are being used to accommodate affected public servants in each sector. Um, Thanks, Minister. And I know the scheduling is a matter for uh, the business committee of the House uh, and thereabouts, but allowing for the fact that it's at committee uh, on, on the 12th of December and it's, it's leaving it tight, do you think there is a chance we could pass this before Christmas? It would be um, uh, really great for people, and I, I would have concerns for people who, who will reach their birthdays over the Christmas period um, were the thing for us not to pass it. And I know it is tight with committee stage, and we are in the hands of the... Uh, committee as well to try and expedite that through as much as we can, but I do think it's an issue that we should work uh, with all sides of the House on uh, to try and, and get through um, on that one a, a, as quick as we can. Um, and I, I, I see, I, I understand you're saying that it's uh, those prior to the 1st of April 2004 and up uh, to the age of 70. Um, so that, that is to say then there is the one, there isn't going to be different ages applying to different public servants here. This will be when it changes uh, for 70 and for all. And can you confirm that that's open to all public servants that there isn't di uh, different, uh, di different rules for different elements of the public service? Uh, in this bill, it was first introduced and some of the ideas in relation to us, in fact, first come from Deputy Moran in some meetings that I had with him well over uh, 18 months ago. So, in relation to the different points that have been put to me, firstly, would I be proposing to change the legislation to make it in any way retrospective? Um, I'm not planning to do so. We brought in interim measures. This is a bill that many are looking for to pass. But regardless of what date it passes, unfortunately, there are going to be some people who could be affected either side of it. In relation to what we can do to address the issues that have been raised, I have looked to schedule this bill at the earliest opportunity. And what I'll do now, and first of the exchange that I've had here, is I'll talk to the Government Chief Whip and see if there would be an opportunity to maybe even schedule committee stage a few days earlier. Because if that were to happen, given the consensus that is there for the passage of this bill, that might then facilitate a prompt report stage a few days after that, and then the passage of the bill. Thank you. Deputy Hayden, please. Yeah, I, I thank you, Mr.
for that. I would very much uh, support those measures. I do think it is one that, um, you know, it's a sign of uh, how good the bill is, the fact that uh, the only complaints you're getting is how quick can it pass. Um, and if we can all work together on all sides of the House, I think there would be great merit in, in trying our very best, uh, as I know you are doing, Minister, to get this passed before uh, Christmas and um, to get it enacted as soon as possible. Thank you. Uh, yes, thank you. I'll often not deal with, with uh, uh, enthusiastic claims to get a bill passed quickly, but we are in this case because it can make a difference to the lives of many in relation to the question that you put to me, Deputy, that I didn't answer, in relation to whether any um, employees that are outside of the terms of this bill, the answer is those who, uh, uh, because of the physical nature of their work, might not be able to continue to fulfil that work as the years uh, pass on. And I recollect, for example, that at least uh, firemen are excluded from the terms of this uh, bill. Uh, but I will provide uh, information to the deputy regarding what other employees are excluded from it. Sir, we now move to the next.